my god. Fiatin was such a good anime. Like, just ridiculous. The music was out of control good. The characters were great. The storytelling it was just magnificent, man. It was a good time. So if you haven't watched it, you should do it. But anyway, hello and welcome in. My name is Drumroll Tony. I'm a streamer and Twitch musician and music teacher living in Seattle. We did a video on the first opening. We have not done a video on the second opening, so that's what we're going to do. I've actually only heard the anime version of the second opening, so I'm very excited to hear the full one for the first time. Let's go. This is Haru by Yoroshika. Here we go. There it is. so many times when we're doing reactions on the Patreon, but I never get to stop and talk about it. We don't have those liberties because we just we keep going, you know? Okay. It's 50 seconds, man. This introduction is wonderful for a lot of reasons that I've wanted to talk about for a long time. So let's talk about them. Number one. Oh my God. Melody. The melody is so great and chill, a little bit breathy, but just like lightly adventurous as we travel through this. I'm not a lyrics guy. I'm listening hardcore down to the instrumental side. So let's talk about that. In the beginning, I love the tone of the guitar and I love the placement of the guitar. For me, that feels, even though it's stereo, obviously, it feels a little bit unbalanced, but not in a bad way. It feels over to the right and down a little bit. Now, normally, if it was unbalanced, it, it would make for a very uncomfortable listening experience. That's not happening because it's only, it's, it's, it's a quick moment because soon, when the drums and voice come in, it balances it out. God, the tone of the snare drum. Sorry, I'm always geeking out about the tone of the snare drum. I absolutely love it. But anyway, the simplicity of the kick pattern to the snare is just a real, really, really basic groove right there. But it balances out what's going on in the guitar. And I feel like the voice is placed the way, I mean, it's stereo, obviously. But I just, it feels like it's top left. So we kind of have like a line going through here. If you want to use your like head as like a, a wave, you're going to balance sound. I kind of nerd out with that kind of stuff. So it feels very like complete. It's super simple, but it hits so hard. Like this drum beat, this like, listen how perfect this is. There's so many possibilities of choices you can make percussive wise with percussion. But the one we're getting here is so good. Seriously, man. You give that to 25 drummers, you're going to get back 25 different things. And probably 23 of them are going to be too busy with too many notes. That hits because the glue for me is that guitar line to the voice. The drums are cool, but it's that guitar line, man. It's just really, really supporting. It is like the rudimental support system for the melody that we're given to in the voice. Love the little... Mm. This, and then the chord changes right there, and it sets us up for when the electric bass player comes in. And we get this little lick and this turnaround that is, the first time I heard it, I was like, whoa, where are we going? Like, what time signature are we in? Because it just keeps going and going, and then it resolves, and it's wonderful. So just appreciate the basis right here. Appreciate the song design, and we'll let it go on. I just, man, I freaking love this stuff.
right, so good. Let's go back to the 50 second mark and talk about why this is so good. Japanese bands, man, they're like the only musicians that successfully break all the rules. There's no rules. There's no rules in music. There's just like common tendencies. It depends where you grow up, though. It depends on like what culturally you listen to all the time and what you become familiar with. Normally, my ears were so used to not having such busy dual guitar lines. We have guitar left, guitar right, and then the bassist is going off too. Like, there's so much stuff happening. I didn't really discover, I mean, I've heard that plenty of times. I listen to a lot of fusion. I know I listen to pretty heavy hitting jazz musicians and stuff that were like, people are pushing limits and stuff. But this feels with like the J-pop kind of like, like spin on it. It feels different. And we get so much of this in anime, like on a consistent basis. And it's like high listening demand. Like it's cool, but your ears, if you want to take it all in, you need your ears to be on because the, the artists are giving us so much. It's easy. Like, I don't, I don't mean, how do I say this? Lazy listening is easy to do, and I recommend that you don't do it because the artists have gone out of their way to cultivate so many complicated ideas, but to make them sound like they're easy. Like, that's where you get fooled. You listen to that right there, like, oh, yeah, it's this fucking jam, and it's, it's, so, it's so cool. What a hook. Like, what a great chorus. No, man. Like, it's way more complicated than that. Those That guitar line, the counterpoint that's going on, you can't fuck around and, like, accidentally come up with that. That's very purposeful. The way the bass line, like, has its moments to be, you know, it speaks a lot. It supports the guitar lines are going on. But all the while, you have that quality of great melody and the hook going on. Like, you got, your ears got to be on, man. Like, it is such good music. So, that's that's the whole reason we're doing this. Why we stop so much, go back and talk about it. Because it's really, really good stuff. And I just enjoy nerding out. So, this time, put your ear on the guitar lines and the bass line. You've probably listened to the vocal line a million times. Let that let that be on the back burner for a second. Pay attention to guitars and bass. <laughs> Isn't it good? Isn't that cool stuff? And I'll, I'll be a bad person if I didn't say, hey, you know, the drummer is getting some good stuff in there too, because ultimately the control of all the phrasing really kind of boils down to the lowest common denominator within the rhythm section. And that is the kick drum. And obviously we're moving around toms and controlling phrases. And really it's two people, the bassist and the, the drummer control that. But when the bassist is going to be melodic in their phrasing and shaping, similar to more of a traditionally a guitar role, the drummer really has a lot of responsibility to make sure that when they do step outside and give us some syncopations, playing some fills, just shaping the groups, uh, it's important that they're super locked in, which they are. Okay, we're a minute 26 in. Let's go back five seconds. Let's keep going. Okay, so it's interesting because we just heard that bass. That fill right there, it made way more sense within the context of the groove that just like existed for like 15 seconds before that. But really, really the first time we heard it within the first opening, that was missing. We just kind of come in where everyone picks up. But that's cool. But what's the coolest part? Man, it's the drummer. Let's just go back. I don't even, sorry. I, I wasn't really paying attention that time to where uh, this verse is. Hold on. Enough, though. Okay, so we have that super simple beat that we talked about in the beginning. All we've added is just little clicks on the rim of the snare. <laughs> that's all that's been added. Just little tiny dynamic clicks on the snare. But it fills out so much because the, the beat there is so like rudimentary. Like it's so simple. Just adding that little timbre, that little different sound is a huge effect. So remember, 25 different drummers, you're going to get 25 different creative ideas there. 
Most likely none of them are that. That is so awesome. I wonder how long it took in the session before they were like, hey, just keep it as basic as possible and it's going to say so much. So you got to appreciate folks that can do that and yet still make it uh, feel good and still drive the band because even though it's so light, it still drives the song, man. You barely hear it. The tone of the bass here is gorgeous. Obviously, the bass player is layering in with the guitar. It's pretty, pretty, pretty much flat as a pancake right on top there. But then it's just, for me, it's just the sound. It's just the way the bass is sounding that gives us the, the texture there that we did not have at all before. That's no choices. Let's keep going. before we get to this new section. So the chorus was there with some slight variations. If you go back, check out the little extra guitar work that's going on there. There was a couple other voicings. The bass player did a little bit of different stuff, but it was, I mean, it's similar, but with tiny differences. Now, what is a huge difference is right here. So I'm like, sorry, I'm nerding out. Let's find out what this is all about. Not what I predicted. Not what I would have predicted ever. That was so great. We had like borderline little funky reggae jam session for there a second there. That oh, this band, Yoroshika, man. Like, let's we're getting it again. Uh, the delicacy. It is so fragile is not the word. Light, airy, feathery. The way the guitar is used here, but that's light. But the groove is not like it is in the pocket, man. God damn, dude. I swear to God. Eh. Counter melodies. Bluesy. Boy, little pitch bend stuff. The other thing that's cool, that's intimate feeling. I feel like I'm in the jam session. I feel like I'm sitting next to both those players. I don't know how many guitarists Yudoshika has if that's one person that's doubling in the in the on the track in the studio. Or if they have two people, I should, I'm uneducated. I should, I should figure that out. But the point being, man, this sounds good. <laughs> it sounds good sitting right here and getting the headphone experience of it. God damn, music is the greatest thing ever. Cross sticking on the drums. Great placement. That's really kind of giving us the group. Like the bass, obviously, the, and the bass feels kind of like uh, airy and on top, kind of instead of mixed down below. So it's. It's kind of reggae s, but it's not low enough and not boomy and round. It's sound enough, if that makes sense. But uh, I dig the cross stick patterns that are happening on uh, the percussion. So, uh, and sorry, when I say not enough, I mean to be like reggae. This is not reggae because this is J-pop from an anime. Like, but we have elements of other other things being pulled in, which makes the song, in my in my opinion, it elevates the song to uh, a new height because fusion is great. And you know, we usually talk about fusion with like jazz and stuff. Fusion just literally means fusing any types of elements of other music into one piece in a we're getting a really great um experience of that right here that's palm meeting going on there <laughs> oh god it was so good man 
Like the release on the piano high note. Man, what a great piece of music. Seriously, though, that was outstanding. Love the tone of the voice. It's really nice to hear someone's like real actual voice that was not super processed. Thank you so much for that. The elements in the last uh, the last hook there, there was these ensemble hits happen. There was like little intricacies that were new. So I'm really like, I think my pattern now is if I'm, wa if I'm watching an anime, we'll probably like do a video about the opening or the, or the ending, like the anime version, the short version, but we won't, we won't do the full version until I finish the anime. Cause I feel like that feels, it feels more special because, you know, as I'm hearing this, I'm thinking about episodes cause it was really fun to react to. And like, you know, the characters are just, man, it's, if you've watched, you know, if you haven't just do yourself a favor, watch it. It is so good. It is a very good time. If you want to watch it with me, the link for my Patreon is down there. We've, I think we are up to maybe 20 animes on the Patreon now. Um, I'm like a year and some in getting there, trying to catch up, trying to, Trying to beef it up. So anyway, there it is. I hope you liked it. Please and thank you. Let me know what you think about the song down in the comments below. My name is Drumroll Tony. Link for all the socials down in the video description below. There's only one incomplete part about the Patreon. One thing's missing and that is you. Please and thank you. Come watch the anime with me. It's a good time. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. YouTube thinks you want to watch one of these two videos next. Have a great day. Take it easy. Click that like button. Subscribe to the channel. All right. Bye-bye.